Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So let's get right into your reading, uh, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now in regards to your finances and career, you have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess could represent um, finding new knowledge or new ways or new forms to create more wealth or to create abundance to bring in more finances for you guys now i see here two options or two opportunities that may be coming about for the month of september where one could have started off as you know just an idea or something that you wanted to pursue just to see how far it would go and I see that rendering you or bringing to you more opportunities and more finances. Now, I also see another opportunity that may come about in the month of September uh, for you guys that is going to really take it to the next level. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be like, uh, you know, starting to experience um, a more flow of energy in regards to money uh, with this specific idea. So for some of you guys, it could be doing work on the side um like jobs on the side or creating or starting your own new business that type of that type of energy and what they're saying here is really follow that because that's really going to help you um create more wealth now they're speaking about wealth for some of you guys um this could be like a life-changing type of scenario so like i said it could start off potentially as an idea or you just wanting to dab into something and it could be like something that it's not particularly the business where you work or how you make money. It has more to do with things that you do on the side that is going to start to bring to you more finances than that of your specific job. I hope that makes sense. Now, in regards to communication, how you will be communicating for the month of September, you have the sun card. So you have the high priestess and the sun. A lot of major arcanas here. We're talking about things that are out of our control. This can also represent the sun illuminating you, again, with that of new ideas or being able to see uh, wealth or finances in a very different perspective. And, and it's a positive uh, because the sun does render us blessings, blessings that are coming our way, blessings that, like I said, could start off as an idea and then it turns into a manifestation where it's evident in the material sense, meaning more money coming in and you're able to say, hey, you know what, this could ultimately, potentially, uh, I could live off of this. So this is very, very positive. Again, Really, if you guys are starting your own business or doing things on the side that has been bringing you money, the more you commit to it, the more it's going to render you more financial stability. Now, in regards to the challenge for this month, you have the nine of swords. So the nine of swords with these positive cards, I feel that this has more to do with often thinking like if things start to go good, you often start to question when is it going to get bad or when is it going to change? This is more to do with the negative self-talk that we tend to do to ourselves. And sometimes finances and wealth and stability doesn't really, we don't really understand how greatly it impacts us. But if you really take it, like if you internalize and figure out how you were raised, what, when you were a kid, what is it that your parents talk to you about money? Um, were they good at money? Were they good at financing? Were they good at managing their money? And if the answer is no, uh, perhaps it's time for you to learn from that and to learn to be more productive when it comes to managing money. Um, I feel that this more that this has more to do with a subconscious level. So again, whatever your blockages have been in regards to finances, in regards to money. I think that this is an awakening for you to really consider uh, has your mentality in regards to money has it changed in the past couple of months and it if it has how has it changed and has it given you better results and if the answer is yes then what they're telling you is take that as an acknowledgement uh, that you're growing, that you're becoming more self-aware, that you're able to pull towards you more opportunities because you're not limiting yourself anymore. 
Now, in regards to love and romance, you have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so the Ten of Swords could represent coming to an end of a turbulent situation. For some of you guys, this could be physically the end of singlehood. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Now, for others of you, this could represent getting to the point of uh, perhaps with the high priestess certain things came out to the open with the sun card illuminating um, that changed your perspective of the person that you were dealing with or that you were dating and it created a lot of anxiety it created a lot of worry but you're getting to the point of being able to detach yourself from that toxic trait or that toxic energy or that toxic relationship now your spirit's advice here is the 10 of cups so i see nothing but abundance for you aries I want to say for the month of September, going all the way to the first week of October, you guys are going to be experiencing a momentum of flow when it comes to cash, when it comes to money, uh, when it comes to finances. You're going to be able to find more ways to make more money. And with the Ten of Cups bountiful type of energy, this is a representation of feeling emotionally fulfilled. For some of you guys, it could be that you're getting to the point of understanding that there is a connection or a deep connection with someone that perhaps you're very aware of or someone that has been in your life for quite a while, but there were some type of reservations uh, in regards to this person, whether it was that you yourself were working on yourself or didn't understand uh, why this person wasn't as open to taking it to the next level. Um, but in reality, the reason for that was timing because you're still currently going through or healing through past traumas. Now, with the Ten of Cups here, emotional fulfillment is in the very near future. So it could be a friendship that turns into a long-term committed relationship. For others of you, it could be coming to an ending cycle of a relationship that was very toxic, giving way for a new relationship. Now, here with your Rune card, Fehu is a energy that represents all to do with purpose and nature. But it, this is a very, this is a wealthy rune. This speaks about good financial management, material wealth, uh, efforts paying off. If you're putting effort, if you've been very diligent with work, if you've been busting your ass doing what you're supposed to do, it's going to bless you. It's going to render you blessings, opportunities that are going to take you to the next level. So this is a very, very beautiful energy, Aries. I encourage you guys all to embrace it and to really put your intentions out there because the manifestation is very likely for you guys, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.